everybody YouTube. It's your boy Young Black. All right, I'm awake now, and uh, he's laying it on for a couple of hours last night. Uh, game is awesome, y'all. Game is awesome. Uh, I hear a lot of people complaining about how Leonard game is, uh, or linear, whatever you want. The game is not really all that linear. Uh, if you really pay attention to everything. The, the world of that the game is based in is so large information wise that I am so glad that they didn't uh, make the stages humongous so that I can get lost in that too. Uh, I'm already getting lost in the story, which is kind of hard to keep up with since they drop a lot on you at once. The beginning of the game starts off with uh, a, a huge battle and you don't know why. So that is kind of confusing. So, and then they're basically unraveling the story during a huge battle, which makes it really hard to follow because you're too busy paying attention to the beautiful graphics and the beautiful the beautiful um, story and everything that's happening right in front of you. So, when they're trying to give you all this little hints of backstory of what's happening, you uh, kind of get lost in the, in the action, which is not a bad thing because the action is more direct. Uh, so, you take, you take to that a little faster. But... Me being me, I, I really want to get into the story, so I'm taking the game very slow so I don't have to get um, confused and go back and realize things that, oh, this meant this and this meant that, so I'm taking it really slow. Uh, the game does have mostly only straight paths in the beginning so far. It's not like uh, the other Final Fantasies where you're going to visit towns and all of that type of stuff. Uh, you do visit towns and new areas. And all of that, but you don't go there like to shop and everything to buy armor and weapons like you do in the other Final Fantasies. You do that through the save points this time, which I think is cool. People are complaining about that too, but uh, if you gotta look at the game and the technology of the game, uh, the technology that these characters are using, it really doesn't seem fathomable that they have to walk into a store to go buy something. Uh, the, the save points work like uh, maybe the internet that you can touch. Uh, you, you can buy stuff, and the, the items that you buy at the save points actually appear in your inventory, as if you, you're digitally buying things that physically appear. You know, so it's the future. They have really high technology, so that kind of, to me, explains why there are no stores. Uh, there are places you go, I think, to upgrade items um, if you, during the game. You don't upgrade weapons through the store. So you will be going to areas, I think, to upgrade items. And also I heard that later on in the game, uh, there is some free roaming and sub-quests, and the game opens up where it's not just a straightforward path, uh, which, is, which is good also. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the characters and um, exactly what's going on in the, in the game, because I believe everybody should go buy this game, especially if you have a PS3. It's an awesome story. Uh, you can play it with friends or with your family members, like a movie. The story is awesome. And it's very, the battle system uh, is very user-friendly. I'm hearing now that um, it gets a, the battles get a lot more difficult. It starts off very easy, but don't let that make you um, think, oh, this is going to be another pushover game. Because, no, they're just weaning you into the battle system very slow. Uh, so the, the battle systems are basically training you using everything, all the mechanics. Very, very slowly, which is very smart, which is very smart because they don't, you don't feel overwhelmed with, with everything. There's a lot going on in Final Fantasy 13, a lot. So it's, it's going to be hard for some people maybe to understand everything, uh, but you just take it real slow. Um, I bought the strategy guide, the um, collector's edition. Uh, a lot of people saying you're not going to need the book, you're not going to, it's an RPG, a Final Fantasy, you will always need the book for something, I guarantee you, uh, if you want all the best weapons, you're going to need the book, uh, if there's a boss that's really, really hard that you can't get past at, at all, you're going to need the book, uh, or if you're really good at the game and you want to go for the extra hard challenges to be able to find those challenges, you're going to need the book. Uh, so it's never a waste to buy a strategy guide for an RPG, ever. I almost buy 
any RPG I buy, if there's a strategy guide, I almost all the time buy it, just so that I can really um, get into the world of the game and the mechanics so that I can maneuver the way you're supposed to maneuver at a good pace and really master the battle system. Uh, another thing about the game is the graphics are incredible. I, I've made videos about Heavy Rain, how Heavy Rain was the best looking game. Well, Heavy Rain has been topped. It didn't even last a month. It's, Heavy Rain is awesome. The graphics in Heavy Rain is crazy, and Heavy Rain is an amazing game at what it does. But um, Final Fantasy blows it um, graphics-wise and presentation-wise out of the water. Out of the water. The graphics to me reminds me of if, if, if you haven't, if anybody's seen, um, which you most likely have, Final Fantasy Advent Children. If you guys remember that movie, how the movie was totally CG rendered. Uh, the game, to me, it almost looks really, really close to that. Very close. I mean, maybe 10% off. 90%. It looks almost exactly like Advent Children to me. But I'm not an expert in graphic analysis uh, or nothing. I don't know. Well, I'm saying just visually, just looking at them both, you see that the you can see that some of the engine maybe from um, Advent Children was used in creating this game, which is amazing because that movie looks amazing, and this game looks almost just as amazing. And I'm talking in uh, gameplay and in movie sequences. There was a point where I couldn't even tell the difference whether I was is am I going to be able to move this or, or am I just supposed to sit here and watch this? So I just keep the controller in my hand. It, the game looks that amazing. It's up there with. Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid, Heavy Rain, and um, this game had the best graphics I think I've ever seen in a, 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 a console game. I don't know about games period, but for me games period, but in console games, it, the graphics are amazing. Am amazing. I mean, the beginning of the game, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but the, the main character, who's a female, has a device that's on bottom of her thumb or the, the, the tip of her thumb that she can snap and it, it turns off gravity around her you know they never really tell you what that what it does or anything but if you're smart you can see what happens when she does that uh, a field goes around her body that it um, cuts off the gravity just on her body so that she can maneuver at, at in different ways and um use different angles that she normally couldn't use with gravity so that she could confuse her opponents. And she just starts attacking them at crazy angles, like upside down, off the ceiling, off the side of the the, the, the walls. It's just, it, it was amazing. And I also like her, her weapon is a, a sword that is, it breaks down into a, and you can see a little bit of it. And you can see it looks like, looks like a mechanical um, sword that she's holding. The sword actually breaks down. It, it collapses back into a gun so she can have a sword and she can use it as a gun also because it's mechanical and it's like a, a transformer weapon. It, it, the game is amazing. And I heard that you can also level up that weapon so that it changes forms onto, I think, three different paths. And she might be more than that. So the weapon does look different and it will change into different forms. And I'm pretty sure you can swap out each part of the weapon. Like the handle is red, I'm probably sure you could drop a blue handle in, which will be look different. And it's just going to add cosmetics, you know. Uh, there's another character that it has, he kind of reminds me of Zell from Final Fantasy VIII. He uses his, his hands. He's a brawler. Uh, Zell had gloves when you upgraded his weapon. This guy doesn't use gloves since their world is based on uh, some type of um, uh, with god, machinely god-like creatures called... Um, Balsi. Uh, the technology that they use is he he uses his hands, but his they use emblems. He puts an emblem on his jacket, and the emblem spreads across the back of his coat. And each emblem gives him different abilities, like maybe extra strength or extra magic, magic resistance, or little things like that. Or maybe I'm thinking they'll probably have one that makes the stagger bar, which is a bar that once you charge it all the way up from pounding on your enemies. Uh, they go into a stagger mode. In stagger mode, you do more damage for a limited amount of time while the bar decreases. As it decreases, you get to keep doing damage. When it's gone, you have to build it back up again. Uh, I'm probably going to make another video talking more about the game because it's really that big and it's really worth it. Uh, the game is really amazing, though. I'm really liking 
everything. I haven't seen nothing bad about the game yet. I have nothing bad to 